Happy New Year! I'm so excited for 2017. It's going to be an absolutely amazing year. And as I go into 2017, for me, I'm just thinking about all of the trials and the tribulation. You know, you can kind of get stuck on what you have gone through and not stuck on what you're going to do with it and how you're going to learn and how you're going to use that to become a better person and to help someone else, how to make something of it. And a lot of the time for me, I get in my mind and I'm like, okay, well, okay, make something of it. Like, go do something right now. Like, write a book, write a post, like write, write a blog post. But it can be as simple as just learning how to smile again. We go through so many things, so many relational issues, so many things in our mind, so many things that we're trying to combat. But it's really the simple things that help us get through it. And you can go through so many things in life and forget how to smile and forget how to really feel like the person in front of you is someone who could truly care about you. You know, giving compliments, accepting compliments. So for 2017, I just want us to all think about how to reboot our mind. And that's the theme for the day, just rebooting your mind. And so we have computers, right? We have like Mac, we have the, gosh, what's the other one? I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we have our computers, right? And a lot of the time, they need an update. Our mind is like a computer and needs an update. So you must update it. You have to stay in tune with yourself, which is so hard to do when you are working, when you are in school, when you are just trying to figure out what you're going to eat and survive and make it the next 24 hours. But your body is something that you can never leave. You can never escape yourself. You can't get a break from you. So as much as we focus on other things, we have to focus on ourselves the same way. I challenge you to a reboot. And that is just all about rebooting your mind, giving yourself in 2017 a software update and making a commitment to yourself that you're no longer gonna be the same way or react the same ways that you did before. The negative ways I'm talking about. You know what's productive for you and you know what is not productive. And you can look back at your experiences and your relationship with people and really say, hey, that was not okay. I could have done way better than that. And learn from that. Think about all the rebooting things that you can do. If anything, for me, I love lists and my sister makes so much fun of me, but lists are really something that really help me to feel like I'm organized in my life and look back at progress. So you can make a list of five things that you have done that you would like to have changed, but don't get too down about it because everything in life is a lesson. So you had to go through that to be in a place where you are right now. So make that list, look at it, all right and then make a list of five things that you want to get better at. For me, I want to get better at communicating my feelings, my true authentic feelings, because I'm someone who is really nurturing and I like for other people to be happy and I like to accommodate. And it's not that I don't have the best intent because I do. I'm operating from what my heart knows to be best but then my mind gets overloaded. So I have to figure out how to communicate in more of an authentic way and think about myself before I accommodate someone else. So just think about three to five things that you wanna change in 2017. It's kind of like a resolution, I guess, but we're gonna call it a reboot. So once you have the things that you wanna change in your life, tell yourself, this is a reboot of my mind. I will never be the same I can't just drag this update to the trash like we do on the computer. It doesn't go back to the old software. It's a permanent upgrade, a permanent upgrade to my mind. And I will never be the same. You can't go back from this upgrade you're making, this commitment that you're making to yourself. And it's exciting. Like, don't you love it when you update your phone? Don't you love it when you update your computer? You can do the same thing with your mind. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up to let me know that you loved it. Let me know how this works for you. Follow me on Instagram at Kanika Cabarrus and follow Beauty Billionaires. It's all about inner beauty and it's all about 
basically what we talked about today. Just feeding our mind and knowing and letting our inner beauty shine the brightest. I love you all so much. 2017 is going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing year and I can't wait to spend it with you.